Happy Sunday, good evening, and welcome into Sports from the PMAC. I'm Megan Glover. And I'm Elijah Nixon. Elijah, it was essentially a battle of the bayou here in the PMAC between LSU hosting UL, the Raging Cajuns. And although they did get blown out, that final score was 83 to 53. They held their own in the first half. They sure did. They made sure that LSU couldn't get anything going in the post, and they wanted to get some transition buckets, and they did. Second quarter, we all know how that went. They finished the game, finished the quarter 28-28 tie ball game, and then it went slippery slope down from there. For sure. But speaking of some big moments here, let's talk about the bigs on LSU's team. Anissa Morrow, she had a monster game, 27 and 10. She had a double-double tonight, and she said that that's something that she's always looked to be consistent, and she wanted to be, she wanted to get a double-double for every game. She said, essentially, look, I'm a double-double machine. She came in with a chip on her shoulder coming in from DePaul University, where in those two years that she played with DePaul, she had 55 career double-doubles, and that's something that she had on display this evening. Um, I personally feel like I've always it's been kind of hard to defend since I've been a freshman, but I will also say just how aggressive I am on the boards, offensively, defensively, um, how I get in the passing lanes, and just positioning myself in the right, right spots at the right time. And she has that internal chip on her shoulder where she knows she can play at any level, and somewhere along the way she's expressed it to y'all. People don't think she can. She said it in one of the press conferences. It's like, so y'all don't think I can do at LSU what I did at DePaul? And I remember that. Elijah, this LSU roster is just full of so many stars. So Morrow can't get all of the shine, but we have to shine a light on freshman phenom Michaela Williams. She had a monster game, 18 points, 11 rebounds, and those 11 rebounds a career high for her. And if she is able to be consistent in what she's doing in the out-of-conference, she's going to be a force to be reckoned with in conference play. And Coach Broadhead had the same exact praise for her in that press conference. He said Michaela Williams is special. Can't wait to see what she does in the future with the program. He also had praise for his team as well. And the Second, they scored relentlessly. They had 69. They shot 69 percent from the field and held the Tigers to 27 percent from the field. They said that this game has taught them a lot, and they hope to use some of those lessons as they inch closer to conference play. I just like the coaches said in the locker room, we can't go backwards because we set the standard really high tonight. And I think, uh, you know, every season, I mean, every game that we play in the preseason, is just to help us for the regular conference. So I think we are ready. If you're a competitor. You love playing against better people. So I think that was. A give me. I knew they were going to play hard. I didn't know what the outcome was going to be, but I knew we were going to play hard. Well, they'll look to get back into the winning column when they play Wednesday at the Cajun Dome against Lamar and see if they could keep this momentum rolling. Most definitely. Well, that'll do it for your sports from inside of the PMAC. For myself and Elijah Nixon, for KTC Sports.